temperature? I just had to ask Frank again, what is the temperature? 25. 25 degrees. Talk about a bird day. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM. It is Gloria Frank. Just told you it's cold outside, but I still ain't wearing socks, Frank. It ain't brought, got that low yet. What's wrong with you? This is, I just told you that but also brought to you by Hometown Market. We'll talk about them in just a moment, too, with their daily specials. Come out on Wednesday, get them into Decatur Daily, add in the news curry. We'll discuss that in a moment. Dr. Roy Williams, who's not a real doctor, but he's in here this morning. It can keep you healthy. Good to be here. It must be something going around with the color today. I know, we all thought brown. Everybody's got kind of brown right. on this morning. Got to stay warm. You ain't got socks on and boots, Roy. And my, and my hunting shirt. Hunting shirt. <laughs> Understand your family is in the deer killing business. We are in the deer killing business. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us. My wife and I. You ain't got one, have you? No. <laughs> And we're babysitting again all this week. Frank's on the phone. Abby babysitting over there, so we'll try to do the best we can. Frank got a short sleeve shirt on. I got to tell you, I stay, yeah, it was a little chilly yesterday to drop Matty off down at Lindsay Lane for uh, daycare. My pool was full of leaves, and the only way to get those leaves out is to manually dip them out with a net. You got pool, <laughs> know what I'm talking about? When it's, you know, overcast and chilly, that's a hard job to do, Frank, but somebody's got to do it. So after I stayed by the fire, Gloria got out there and got them all out, I was good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, coming up today, we'll try to go back to the uh, Veterans Day Parade in downtown Athens. We still got other, we ran into a lady yesterday over, uh, stopped at the store yesterday. She, uh, Flo. Well, no, when was going to do the Clements going. Did you get that photo of the Flo? We also have the lady of Flo. Yeah, look at this woman. <laughs> Flow with that progressive commercial? She looks just like her. Doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she said she actually gets that quite often. Well, that's why she dresses that way, probably. <laughs> I don't know what the woman's name was. I just called her Flow. But anyway, that's kind of the way it goes. <laughs> if you got a question this morning, kind of keep it to yourself. Oh. You can, you can text me. 23011. Sometimes I can't even remember my own number. 2301123. Hit me up sometime on my iPad if you got a question. I gotta give a shout out to Mickey Neely. Mickey, I know you send me a lot of stuff from time to time and roll tide. Got some interesting articles on my iPad this morning about the Alabama Crimson Tide, Roy, that you are not going to kind of believe. And don't forget, big, big game this weekend at 2.30 on CBS. Uh, uh, Georgia at Auburn. Frank, who are you taking in that? Georgia. Georgia, me too. Oh, boy. Even though Auburn's a three-point favorite, three-and-a-half in that, I'm going with Georgia. See, I need them to win. That way, should Auburn knock us off, we still get in. This, it would be out of the championship game. It would be that. So, anyway, that's just, that's just my, you know, y'all didn't actually think I was going to come out and predict Auburn to win that, did you? But, anyway, Auburn, fantastic season. Gus Malzahn deserves coach of the year, so I will give him a vote of confidence on that. They are pretty doggone good. Let's get this party started on a cold Wednesday morning edition of Coomer Company Live. Here's our weather woman right now to tell us when it's going to warm up. After getting all those leaves out, and we're like superwoman. <laughs> Let's talk about that forecast. 25 degrees this morning. Bundle up, break out those really warm boots today. It's going to be a cold one all day. I was like, we backed out of the truck, or backed out of the garage in the truck, and it read 45. I thought, wow, I thought it was supposed to be much colder than this. By the time we rounded the circle, it was 29 degrees. Right now, though, 25, so it's dropped a little bit. High temperatures of 49, and we will see some sunshine tonight. 25 for that low. Tomorrow, 57, low of 35. Look at the rest of the weekend. Not bad as the weekend warms up. High temperatures on Saturday, 66. We could see some rain on Friday, too. We'll tell you more about that tomorrow. 2304988 does get Frank. I like you with a pacifier in your mouth. Listen to the silence. Well, Mandy handed me this, <laughs> so I have my hands full. So, <laughs> hey, there's an interesting. Hi. We're yeah. babysitting this Bye. week. I told y'all that, didn't I? Nice <laughs> picture in Decatur Daily this morning. Woman covered up here with a sweatshirt. I look like kind of like you out by the pool yesterday, getting those leaves out. Mm, that would have been right. Roy, how's things out on the river? Wonderful. Come here. I'm glad to see the the, the children on the set. I'm, I'm surrounded by them all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. <laughs> Come here. A whole lot more than you Jeez, probably ever thought. Oh yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They uh, they all Gotta grow up it. eventually, though. Oh, yeah. That's She's cute. finally walking. Well, yeah. This is the easy stage. I know. Oh, Lord, this is when we ought to be grateful. Everybody, right. keeps, everybody keeps saying that. And they get older. <laughs> yeah. So what else is going on, Roy? What are you going to talk about today? All these stuff that I take every day? Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, a thing of did you know today. Yeah, people, uh, hey, I did that on ESPN all the time. Yeah. Did, did you, you know? know? As a matter of fact, that's where I got the idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> or do they say, am I wrong? And then they'll do something, everybody will. So we'll all, and there's a nice cholesterol story in USA Today this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I always thought cholesterol really wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. If you look at the statistics, it's not. But, you know, they're going to try to convince you that you're going to die if you don't have statin drugs when actually the opposite may be true. I'll let you know. Well, yeah. My cholesterol's always been good. Know. I know, yeah. mine too. Despite bacon. 250. That's just where I want. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me remind y'all, it's that time of year again, News Courier this morning. The 10th annual Reliance Bank Christmas Parade is set for December right. 5th. I'm assuming that's a Thursday. It's always on a Thursday. Ain't it, Frank? Oh, no. I'm assuming yes, it is. It is. For the 10th year, ZTV will exclusively cover the Athens Christmas Parade again, <laughs> and we welcome all you people who has helped us sponsor this again. to run it again, and I will be calling on y'all here in the next week or two. <laughs> so always. save up. Yes. Betty Christopher with the bank is expecting the largest crowd ever, according to this. Uh, says here we're anticipating being the best and largest parade ever. Roy, I don't know if you've ever gone to the parade, actually, but I've got to give a shout-out to uh, Shane Black and their crew down at Ripley. That dang float that they do, they win every year. Mm -hmm. That float they do, and like they said, it could go in Macy's Parade. They I mean, it's that. It. They do such a tremendous job on that. It is really unbelievable. I mean, it's My favorite thing of the Christmas Parade is, is Mr. It's Ryan over. Moore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ryan the Moore over here. Heated tent. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite part when it's over. My favorite is when it's over. Golly, we got to stay up until 8 o'clock that night. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I ain't kidding you. For those who really care, Kentucky basketball mm. got beat last night. That was the meeting between 1 and 2, the earliest in history. Kentucky's got all them freshmen that take care of basketball season. Football season ain't over yet. I was kind of mad yesterday. ESPN did not have college football live. They had some sort of basketball on. <laughs> Roy, I don't know what kind of underwear you wear and don't really care, but here's what I had in the paper this morning. Red. The USA, there's no junk in our trunk. What? I said red. Yeah. <laughs> she needed to know. There's no junk in our trunk. You know. Not him. Oh. <laughs> there's no junk in our trunk. This is for shut up. Don't leave your underwear at my house again. <laughs> they look like that. Yeah. I got to give a well, shut up will be with us tomorrow. Yeah, did they? Yes. Shut up holds the record for jumping in our pool. And leaving underwear after in my bathroom. The only person ever to jump in our pool after Thanksgiving. Wow. No, the best, the funniest part was we getting ready to go to bed. We go into the bathroom, and Jamie holds up a pair of underwear, and he goes, "Whose are these?" I'm like, "Why are you asking me? How am I supposed to know?" <laughs> All right, I got some big Thanks, news I want to talk about this morning. Alabama has given a. This is on AL.com and everywhere else I found it. Alabama has been given a 42 percent chance mm -hmm. to get in the game again in this year, Roy. 42% right. chance that Alabama will meet Florida State. And then y'all had to have heard about the Ohio State guy, Frank. Oh, what a big mouth. Urban Meyer is mad, the coach up there. This receiver, Roy, says we would wipe the floor with Alabama or Florida State. Ooh, he better shove a he's fourth string. He well, ain't even only, seen the field this year. That's the only way he's going to get recognized. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> he got his name in the papers. <laughs> yeah, but here's the number one thing. I was on AL.com this morning. I want to share this with all of y'all this morning. An open letter in the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. Open letter to Coach Gus Mazan on Auburn. Auburn can spare country from another. Let me read this to y'all. Let me get my glasses where I don't misrepresent any wording of this. <laughs> this morning, y'all are hearing this for the first time. The Wall Street Journal's Rachel Bachman wrote an open letter entitled, Hey Auburn, you're our last chance to Auburn coach. Coach was on Sunday asking him to do what many this year have yet to do, beat Bama. She writes, Alabama's the only team that brings no mystery Roy to the table. The Tide are simply so good, so methodical, that they seem to remove, to remove the element of chance. Without it, what's the fun of watching? But you, Auburn, can change all of that. She points to Alabama's got Mississippi State and Chattanooga yet, and the SEC style game, should we beat Auburn. Coach, this is where you come in. Your Tigers host Alabama on November 30th at Auburn. You could be the only thing standing between the Crimson Tide and yet another appearance in the title game, which I think we can agree is getting a bit tedious. That's <laughs> why you need to prevent it from happening. You need to take back the great state of Alabama. No yeah. And then it goes on here. Here, I love to read the comments, you know. Uh, they're always good. 
Uh, and it's just, War Eagles I just hope they can give Bama a spanking. Yeah, okay. Mm. You know, it's hard to believe. You know, but the Wall that Street is Journal. That can go either oh, yeah, way right at now. any given Alabama will probably be favored with about two touchdowns. But my prediction is Georgia will upset the Auburn Tigers in Auburn Saturday, giving them two losses in the SEC. Oh. And then, you know, <laughs> Auburn Brad could, says, who asked you? I mean, Auburn could, <laughs> Auburn could beat us. I just, you know, don't, but it'll be a great game. If it's, it'll be the biggest game in Iron Bowl history if Auburn beats Georgia next weekend. Of course, we we got to beat Mississippi State, so. Sorry about Tennessee, Roy. I had predicted them to upset Auburn, but that didn't happen. Didn't happen. No. You're just didn't making happen. friends everywhere. Didn't happen. How's the new location working out? Oh, listen, we're growing. I just blown away. Gwen was giving me the figures yesterday, which I don't pay attention or to as much as she does. <laughs> she's on the books. And, uh, but it's just growing. We, it's yeah. already more customers, getting new customers, too. We appreciate all of you coming in and telling us you watch us on Clipper. And, uh, you know, this is, it's been a blessing. I really like the parking. Oh, yeah. yeah. The market's so much better. Easier in, easier out. And the store's bigger, a lot more selections, and uh, we're, we're just growing. We got things in there people don't even know exist. And about to have some more of them. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, they are. And we won't, you won't know they exist unless you come see. That's right. <laughs> don't forget to send the Dollar Tree shopping center. When is that uh, sub place, Firestone Sub, supposed to open? First up? of the year. Okay. That's what we're I know doing. they ain't been doing a whole lot of work in there yet. And Mr. Ming, I haven't heard from him lately to enhance my ability to keep learning about what's going new in Athens. Yeah. That means he wants the inside scoop, Mr. Yeah, Bell. I need to know what is going on. We're going to do some news in just a second. Have some more video coming up from just about everything that's been going on. I want to remind you, don't forget Hometown Market, one of our new sponsors, sponsors the Kitchen too that's every right. day here. Their ads are in each and every, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Paper, Wednesday? Wednesday, they're in the paper, in the Decatur Daily, and in the News Special Current. Special start today. Special start today. You can hear them here first, and right now you get a chance to see what those are. We'll take a break. Be mm -hmm. right back. Y'all, hang on.